Okay. We're taking it from the end of um, Fair Lady Work Shuttle, so we've gone. Okay, from here, one of the biggest mistakes is, watch my knee, I'll do it to the camera so you can see it, watch my knee, this is incorrect, you'll do your knee damage. That's like, come here foot, what you've got to do is to leave your weight on this foot, sink into your heel and turn it like that. See how the knee stays in line with your toe and never once does your foot actually leave your leg. <laughs> so, see that? It stays in line with your toe the whole way around with that one. Uh, and the trick to this, all weighted turns, is to literally just put your weight all down through your heel have no weight forward of your heel whatsoever. Just put it right down through your heel. Lift your toes up if you can. Well, you should be able to. Just a tiny tad. And then sink down into your front foot and then just turn your waist, you see. Rather than trying to go use your knee to drag your toe around, use your waist to turn the whole thing which is connected. See, that's easy. Well, it should be. Now, that stage, you should be really pigeon-toed, 45 degrees to each other. One's forward of the other, of course. I'll do it this way. I'm facing out that way, remember, but I'll do it this way so you can see from where you're sitting. You notice that the shoulders are out here, but the hips are here. That's indicative of any wave hands like Cloud's posture. The shoulder, we've covered this before though, in, when we did wave hands before. So the shoulders and the hips are different. Now all the weight's on your left leg, so it should be this foot, should pick up heel and toe together in t perfect timing with what the hands are doing again. So it should be up. Now this is a mistake people are making, they're not placing this right foot correctly. I see them put them out, it's put out like that's incorrect. It should be as close to that other foot and as far forward as possible. So you can't get it fully forward, of course, because the back of your right front of your right shin is touching the back of your left shin here. So it should, it should feel tight. It should feel strong, in other words. Hmm? Touching the back of your calf. Yeah, back of your leg, yeah, lower leg. Back of your shin, yeah. Which is the calf. <laughs> so, see, you feel, uh, you feel, bah! you feel quite, quite strong in that position because you're, you're really locked in and that's the whole idea of doing that. Like, if you do it like that, bah, you're feeling sort of off-center. So that locks you into the ground, you see? No weight on that foot, it's just touching the ground, just balancing you like that. So that's, that's one, of, one of the biggest mistakes that people were making there, apart from the knee here. And everything should start and stop together. In beginner's form, remember, there should be no turning back as the foot's placing. You should be in this position first. Now it's a separate turn to the right as you place your weight onto your right foot. See, I haven't even stepped yet. Now I'm going to step as I do my hands like this, so timing that with the step perfectly. Boom. Again, hands and feet work in, in total harmony. And again, hips are this way, waist is out this way. Now it's a turn. And again, same as we did before, picking up the foot without picking up the heel first or the toes first. And again, boom, 